you guys. Um, this Optimus got a request to play some XCOM, so I'm going to do that. Start a start a single player game. Just go on. easy. Is uh, very engaging. Okay, the story just grabs him. And then the gameplay itself is really fun. It's really interesting. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative oh, yes. to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Alrighty. So you have uh, different base locations that you can start at. Um, they each have their own bonus. There's, uh, North America gives you air and space. All aircraft and aircraft craft weapons cost 50% less to produce, build, and maintain. Europe, laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Asia, all projects in the foundry and the officer training school cost 50% less. South America, which is what I always take. Uh, no, actually I always take Africa. South America, autopsies and derogations are, completely, are completed instantly. Africa, uh, monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. You know, that that's fishy. That's, you know, what, what are they doing? To, like, wow, that's some extreme interrogation. Anyways, I'm going to choose Africa because 30% hey, more cash to me is more useful than all the other stuff because it applies to everything. But that's, again, that's just my take on it. We're heading to South Africa for this one. And we need to get down there fast. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alrighty. Alright, I just adjusted this out there. Wanted to make sure it wasn't uh, too loud for you guys. Alright, so what do we got here? That's right, everyone's just a uh, plain old soldier right now, so... Now, he's... 
see uh, there's a blue outline here. So if I move them anywhere within that blue outline, I can move them there and do an action. Otherwise, I can move to the orange outline or the yellow outline, whatever. And uh, you can't do any action. So here. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. All right. And then what I'll do is I can actually see an alien. As you can see right here, I've got 25% chance to hit him. What I'm actually going to do is just go on Overwatch. So if any alien moves within my line of sight, I'll shoot him. I'll be able to shoot him. Let's go ahead and run up here. And there you go. There was Overwatch working his magic. Even though he missed. That's okay. Well, we need cover. So let's get to the cover. Now it's the alien's turn. Okay, that other alien just gave him a little buff. So if I actually killed the alien that give him the, that's giving him that buff right now, it would kill both of them. Incoming fire. It's handy. Let's get you in position to do some damage. That's the one that's giving him the buff, so it would be nice to kill him, actually. But, uh, oh, we'll just shoot that guy. He's almost dead. Damn. Can't kill him if you don't hit him. Yeah, yeah. It's hardly my fault. Alright, what do we got here? We got the guy giving the buff. Oh no, he's getting a buff. Yeah, let's... Let's take him out. Nice! Killed two of them in one shot. Excellent. Weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development program. Better believe it, baby. We're salvaging all the weapon fragments and shiznit that we can. Perfect. 
Now next round I could just take him out with my uh I believe she's American. Yeah. Good job, April. Nice. Good work out there, strike one. Alright, guys. It's our first mission all completed. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So let's go back to base. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Hi, Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of... Oh, that sounds good. We have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Well, how kind of you for allowing me to get to it. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Nice. Our snipers like specialize our in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. All right. So now we want to get rolling on different projects here, like research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. I approve, all right. So let's see. Commander Which one do we want? Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Yeah, just wait a second. We'll have its attack next very soon. Um, that's definitely important. This is always definitely important. For body armor, yeah. Oh, they're all they're all important. So let's start with weapons. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. All right. Said the engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. I didn't make you wait that Anything long. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. All right. So, we'll Commander do this right away. Control. Commander to mission control. I like to get two of those built right off the bat. Build our satellite. Our I current think. satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. No. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. All right, to mission control. Gee. Can't go to the situation room yet. Okay, that's fine. So scan for activity. Alien abductions reported. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so this is France. Moderate mission difficulty, low panic. Everywhere should have low panic right now. We have four scientists if we do this. We get four engineers if we do that. We have 200 bucks if we do that. I say we go straight for the scientists. So off to France. So now we got our squad ready to go. So let's edit 
support. There we go. Get your med kit. And since we have nothing better to do, we'll give you a med kit as well. is sending an urgent mission request. Central, this is Big Sky. The strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right. Overwatch. can't do anything. He can only, uh, because he's a sniper, um, you have to actually unlock some abilities for him first before he can move and attack in the same turn. I personally think that's kind of silly, but whatever. I guess I get it. He takes more time to aim or something. in a pinch. I think 
you'll make it. He's down. In this game, it's uh, more advantageous to take your time and move it out the speed and keep everyone on Overwatch. Better just to run ahead and uh, not have anyone on Overwatch, and then you, you well, find that? yourself in trouble. So let's help it. Throwing grenade. Nice. Mission accomplished. Nice. That worked very well. All right. So we're gonna call it there, guys. Back next time, we'll continue right where 
right from where we are right now. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Welcome to the Situation Room.